Hi there, this is Shi Yan from racetracksetup.com bringing you some nerdiness on a Friday evening. So my predictions for tire warm-up issues uh, in last weekend's Nürburgring F1 race was totally off because the race itself was actually dry. And that just shows how worthless weather predictions for the Nürburgring are uh, because uh, on, the on the Thursday evening the predictions were still for rain. Uh, so it just shows how worthless weather predictions for the Nürburgring are, uh, which is typical. Anyway, uh, this weekend we are going to talk about uh, yeah, some nerdiness, a thing called jerk, and why jerk is important for vehicle dynamics. So let's take a look at what the definition of jerk is. Um, so, jerk is a noun. Um, according to Miriam Webster, an annoying first definition is an annoyingly stupid or foolish person. Uh, no, that's not what we're talking about. Or two, a single quick motion of short duration. Uh, we're getting closer, but still not quite. Three, jolting, bouncing, or thrusting motions. Uh, no. <laughs> an involuntary spasmodic muscular movement due to reflex action. No. Um, hmm. Okay, so this is not very helpful. Um, ah, but this is, this is probably what we're looking for. Jerk. Physics. In physics, jerk or jolt is the rate at which an object's acceleration changes with respect to time. It is a vector quantity. Jerk is most commonly denoted by the symbol and expression in meters per second cubed or standard de uh, standard gravities per second. Um, common symbol, J. Yeah, so this is what we're looking for. Ah, yeah, so this is nicely uh, describing it. Position derived from uh, the derivative of position becomes velocity becomes acceleration then becomes jerk oh then you can have snap crackle and pop i didn't know that um anyway so why is it important for vehicle dynamics um i'll try to make a small sketch <laughs> uh by hand um so excuses for it not being uh to the quality of uh you know uh, famous car designers, um, Frank Stevenson. Yeah, that was what I was thinking of. Um, anyway, here goes a small vehicle. Uh, no, actually, let's try a different view. Um, have a vehicle here and here, tires. So we have a front view. Um, uh, okay, on screen. Anyway. Ah, yeah. That is. Okay. Shows why I never got into vehicle design. Um, <laughs> so, um, as we know, uh, force equals mass times acceleration. So, uh, when we have the center of gravity here, say, and the vehicle goes around the corner, uh, there is a certain centripetal force um, equal to yeah mass times acceleration. You have a certain uh, roll center, and there is a certain distance, and so torque equals force times distance. So then this force creates a certain torque. Uh, and around the um, around the roll center, so the the vehicle uh, is going to to have a certain roll angle, and uh, yeah, of course, at each corner we have a spring, and we have a damper. Sketch is getting a little bit um, too busy, um, but yeah, okay. So the point is. For a certain acceleration, the vehicle will have a certain roll angle. Uh, so for a certain lateral acceleration, the vehicle will have a certain 
roll angle, there is a causational relationship between the two. And um, this means that from a certain steering wheel angle, um, steering wheel, that's supposed to represent a steering wheel, um, at a certain a certain vehicle speed will lead to a certain acceleration, leads to a certain force, and leads to a certain um, angle or yeah compression uh, displacement of the springs. Um, but this means the jerk. So if we scroll down a little bit. Um, it's the angular velocity, so that's then leading to the jerk, which is leading to um, dot 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 a velocity. Um, or yeah, it's actually yes. So this means that um, the speed at which the steering, steering wheel angle is being moved uh, is then going to lead to the rate of jerk, uh, which then in the end leads to your damper displacement velocity. Uh, and, and we have a similar relationship in braking or, or accelerating, where um, how far the uh, the driver pushes the brake pedal leads to a certain uh, amount of deceleration the which then leads to a certain compression of the front springs but then how quickly the driver is pressing the brake pedal is then going to determine the the level of jerk and the level of jerk is then translated into a certain uh, damper displacement velocity um, and so if if you're someone de uh, designing some kind of vehicle controller where you want to know the expected um, where you, and, and you're trying to predict the um, the for example the damper velo uh, the damper velocity uh, some kind of feed forward um, control uh, then the jerk uh, in the longitudinal lateral directions uh, is going to be quite important and so if you so then by predicting the amount of jerk from either the steering wheel angle and the uh, or uh, brake or accelerator pedal uh, movement then uh, you will predict the damper uh, velocity um, and so yeah that's the importance of jerk in vehicle dynamics um, hope it wasn't too nerdy, uh, hope it was somewhat interesting, um, and till next time.